Hi guys, so this video is for making the pattern for the star baby grow. So that's what we are going to make today. So I hope I'm going to make this step-by-step -step instruction clear enough. If not, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to answer all of your questions. And I had to make it smaller because here is the size of the big one, which I think I made it a bit too big anyway now that I see the finished product, but hey, who knew? I'm I'm not a baby expert, so we're going to make it that way. Okay, I hope you're going to have fun and uh, see you next time. All right, so here are some of the stuff that I'm going to be using, some various uh, rulers. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're using, really. Uh, I'm going to use a protractor. You will need that for angles. Uh, some paper, some packing paper is brilliant. Uh, some marking tools, scissors, and a measuring tape. So you're going to take your paper and in the middle of it we're going to draw a straight line. So that's going to be our center front. How big this um, line is going to be will depend on the size of your baby. So I used the center front line as my overall length for the baby. So I used a size chart that I found on Google. So once I have decided on the size, I divided uh, my center line by two and put a mark in the center. So that's going to give me my radius for a circle that we'll draw. Uh, since it's a five-pointed star and all the sides are equal, equidistant from each other, it's easier to draw it into a circle. It will make sense later on, I promise. I'm using a measuring tape in order to make my circle simply because at the end of it I have an eyelet so it's a lot easier to just tape the measuring tape in place and then use the eyelet as a guide for my pen. So I make a circle that is completely round. All right, so now you're going to need a protractor for making a star. So let's stop for a minute. And here is our circle. It has 360 degrees. To make our star, it has five points. So we need to divide 360 by five, which give us 72 degrees. So first of all, here is the pattern. We will only use, or I will only use half of it since it's symmetrical, so I don't need to do the work for all of it, just half of it, and we'll cut it out later on. But feel free to use the whole thing if you find it easier. Now take your protractor and place it along the center front. And that here is your first point. Make sure it's all centered, and then you're going to put a mark at the 72 degree mark. And to find the other one, you're going to add 72 plus 72. And that's going to give you 144, and that's your other mark. And that's the markings that you should end up with. Now we're going to connect each marking with the center front of our circle. And we're going to extend that line all the way to the edge of the circle. So just like so. And you're going to see the star starting to appear very soon. All right, so next thing we need to figure out is how deep you want each point to be. So we know that in between each point, there is 72 degrees. So all we need to do is divide 72 by two and you will have 36 degrees. All right, so now we're going to place the protractor at the same place again. And from the top, we're going to mark 36 degrees. The second dip will be at the 108 degrees line, so that's 72 plus 36 degrees. And the last one will be put along the bottom half of the center front line. So that how long those lines are going to be will determine how big each point of your star will be. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Just you need to keep in mind that at the end of the day, you need to put a baby in there, so it needs to be large enough but also it needs to be uh, deep enough so you can see the shape of the star. So it's just by trial and error that I've done it myself. Now you can connect all the dots together and you will see your star appearing. All right, so now you have your basic star shape. As you can see, these are quite sharp lines. So we need to make it a bit softer and a bit rounder. You can leave it like this if that is something you like. So now I'm just going to soften my lines and just with a pencil I'm going to draw on my paper. 
and try to make it into a shape that I enjoy, that I like. Uh, as you can see, I'm not going to do it on the whole pattern. I'm just going to do on a bit of it because everything is symmetrical. I don't need to uh, do the whole thing. We are going to cut everything uh, together later on. So I'm going to keep going at it until I achieve a shape that I like. So after a few tries, here what I have achieved. I really like the curve that I have on the bottom, but not really the one I have on the top. I'm going to get rid of it and we're going to work off the one on the bottom. Since everything is symmetrical, we are going to cut everything by folding things together and cutting through two layers of paper, so it's not a big problem. So now what I'm going to do is add a similarance to uh, this portion of my pattern. And that's all I'm going to work on. You're going to see later on how we're going to do it. And now we're going to add a one centimeter similarance. So I'm using my grading triangle for that, but you can just use a ruler or anything that you have at hand is going to be fine. So now we are going to cut our pattern in its entirety. As you can see, we don't have much of it made up. So we are going to use that master piece that we have made as a guide. So all those lines that we traced earlier on to help us out tracing the star, we are going to use them and we are going to fold the paper at those lines. Obviously for the first one we need to make sure the master pattern is on one of the sides. If you need to, you can pin everything in place, but what we are going to do is cut through the two layers of paper to start off with on that curve, just like so. Okay, so now we are going to repeat this process to cut the first half of the pattern, so where all the lines are drawn. So just keep on folding along the radiuses and cut accordingly until you have your first half of your star cut up. And once your first half is cut, you can fold it in half and repeat the same process for the whole thing for the second half of your star. So once everything is cut, Here's where you have, should have a star shape. All right, are you still there? I hope so. I hope I didn't uh, scare you away with all of this. Uh, if you are still here, thank you very much for sticking up with me. So now we're going to make the hood. So we're going to use the star shape that we just made as a master pattern. So we don't have calculation or anything anymore. And you're going to uh, copy the top of the star where the baby's head would be and you're going to decide on how big you want the hood to be and put a marking uh, where you want it so i'm going to make it easy and i'm going to you uh, put it at the base of that tip so it should look like this and now you can just close up the dome little mountain thing that you're going to have you don't need to add similarance uh, all around, but you might need on the bottom. So that will depend on what type of material you're going to use. Since I'm using a material that frays, I need to put a centimeter similarance. If you're using regular fleece, you don't need to do that. And that's your hood pattern made up. Easy, right? So now we are going to make our front pieces. So on the master pattern, you're going to put a marking a few centimeters away from the center line at the bottom. That's going to decide on how much overlap our two front parts are going to have. Then we are going to connect that marking to the top of the star on the opposite side at the beginning of the tip. So it needs to go across. I'm using a French curve for this, but if you don't have one, don't panic. You don't need one, you can do it by hand. Okay, so now we are going to copy that front piece pattern that we have on the master pattern. And we are going to put the master pattern or the star shape onto a piece of paper that is big enough. Uh, you can tape it in place or you can push pin it in place if you have a table that allows you to do so. So my table, uh, I've made it so I can put some push pins into it. So I'm going to put some push pins. But if uh, your table is not made for it and you don't want to be killed by your mom or anything like that, please don't do it. Once everything is pinned in place, we're going to draw the outline of our star shape onto the new piece of paper. We're only going to draw our front piece, so don't draw the whole thing. And then we need to transfer that curve that we have at the front. So you can use a push pin to make some holes through the two pieces of paper, or you can use a tracing wheel, or if you don't want to damage your table, you can always transfer this afterwards 
and make a new curve. So once you're done, just remove your star piece and that will reveal your new pattern piece. So you will just need to uh, put on your piece of paper your new center front for that piece. So just draw over that line and to that you need to add seam elements. Then once you're done, you can cut your pattern piece and you're going to be done. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it somewhat helpful. And if you did, why not leaving a thumbs up and why not subscribe? If you did have some difficulty uh, with this pattern, just message me and leave me a comment and I'll try to help you out. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.